basketball fans. Welcome to the Red Zone here at Hicksville High School as we're getting ready for tournament basketball action on what is a Tuesday night in February. Glad to have you here with us. And this is going to be kind of an unusual setting because uh, really uh, Hicksville is hosting a seventh grade basketball tournament for the, the Green Meadows Conference. Four teams participating, Antwerp, Edgerton, Hicksville, and Wayne Trace. And because it is a tournament, Instead of being over in the auxiliary gym where the junior high teams usually play, we're here in the big gym tonight for these uh, two games in the opening round. First up, it's going to be the Antwerp Archers taking on the Edgerton Bulldogs. We don't have starting lineup, so we'll just sort of run it down. On Antwerp side, number one is Lance McKeever. Number four, Avon Johnson. Number 10 is Parker Moore. Number 21, Michael Reed. 30 is Clayton Phipps. Ethan Leasty is number 31. Number 51, Kendrick Robinson. And Ross Lee wears number 52. On the Edgerton side, number 10 is Eston Kennerk. Number 12, Cole Meyer. Number 20, Chase Timbrook. Number 21 is Gannon Ripke. Number 22 is Nathan Timbrook. Elijah Weaver wears number 23. Number 24, Brody Cheek. Number 30 is Isaiah Kellogg. And number 31, Nicholas Roth. It's going to be Roth jumping, or excuse me, it's going to be Leasty jumping against Kenner. Ball controlled by Antwerp. And Moore with the ball on the dribble on the attack. Goes up to the hoop. Lays it in. A nice rolling layup. And two early points for Parker Moore as the Archers on top. Two to nothing. They're the home team in game number one. Foul on the shot. No good. I think they're going to blow the whistle on number 51, Kendrick Robinson. That'll be his first. And team foul number one on the Archers. And in the act of shooting, that'll put Isaiah Kellogg at the line to shoot two. Kellogg misses the first one. He'll have one more. By the way, I'm Bill Murphy with Hicksville Community Television. I don't think I got a chance to introduce myself. Welcoming you to tonight's coverage. Kellogg's second one is good. Ben Vandenboss running the camera for us tonight. We'll be here for both games. Antwerp and Edgerton right now. And then later tonight, the late session game will have the Aces taking on Wayne Trace. Pass inside. They'll kick it back out. Archers working around the perimeter, driving baseline. Turn around. Layup no good. Rebound knocked loose on the floor. Scooped up by Brody Cheek. He tosses it over. To Ripke, Ripke quickly down the floor, shake and bake move, lays it up and in. Gannon Ripke with the bucket, and that gives the Bulldogs a 3 to 2 lead. Moore with the ball for the Archers, behind the back dribble, guarded by Kennerk. Lofting pass up and good from Ethan Leasty. So we're back and forth, it's now 4 3 with the Archers on top. And the Bulldogs back on offense. Working around the perimeter. Edgerton has a number 11, which is not on the roster that we were provided. So we're not sure who he is. We'll have to see if we can find out. He's pretty small. Too. Shot up and good for Cheek. And that makes it 5-4. No good on the shot, and we'll come back the other way. Down low, shot up, no good. Rebound around, and it comes down into the hands of Parker Moore. Score remains 5-4. Moore, bounce pass to Lisi. Lisi goes to the hoop, and he's fouled. That'll be a two-shot foul. And that's going to be on the mysterious number 11. Shot up. No good. He'll get one more. Careful, Ben. Don't hurt yourself. Sorry. <laughs> Quick pass down low on the baseline cutoff. They'll kick it back out. Shot is up. No good. 
Rebound loose on the floor and out of bounds. It'll stay with the Bulldogs. Checking in is number four, Avon Johnson. He'll give a Kendrick Robinson a breather for Antwerp. Edgerton with the ball inbounds. 15-footer up and good for Eston Kenner. Back the other way. Moore with the ball for the Archers. And that'll be okay. I thought for sure that was going to be a travel. Shot is up and no good for Moore. Ball was passed to McKeever, and I thought McKeever took an extra step, but no whistle. No travel. Shots no good, and the Archers find themselves back on offense. Long shot, and that'll be off the hands of McKeever out of bounds. It was Reed that pulled the trigger from out there in three-point land. Edgerton's ball out of bounds. And Edgerton has another player that we don't have a number for, number 14. Shot is up and no good. You're going to be busy at halftime, Ben. You'll have to run down and track down at least a couple players' names for us. Shot up and no good. Rebound comes down off, off the foot of Reed, it goes out of bounds and it'll go back over to the Bulldogs. 2.29 left in the opening quarter. Again, just six minute quarters here at the junior high level. Bounce pass stolen away. Now it's uh, loose on the floor. It'll be a jump ball. The possession arrow should give it to Edgerton. I don't have possession arrows. Well, I can see it down there. Coming out of the game, number 30 for Edgerton, Isaiah Kellogg. And in the game for him, Brody Cheek, number 24. Edgerton with the ball. Moving around the perimeter, number 11 to 21. Shot is no good. Number 14 scoops it up. Again, we don't have names for numbers 11 or 14 at this point, so I apologize for that. The rosters we were provided don't have those names on them. Bounce pass down, shot up, and good for Brody Cheek. Four points now for him, and the Bulldogs take a 9-4 lead. Here comes Moore for the Archers. Moore. Runs into number 11, the ball stolen away. Going to go coast to coast, puts it up, and he's going to draw the foul from McKeever. That'll be team foul number two on the Archers, and it'll send number 11 to the line to shoot a couple. And we've got a number 15 getting ready to check in for Edgerton, who also is not on the roster that was provided to us. So number 14 comes out. Number 15 goes in. And number 11 at the line. The second one is good. Makes it 10 to 4. The Bulldog lead now 6. Antwerp back on offense. A minute 12 left in the opening quarter. Tries to get the ball inside to Leasty. And we're going to have a timeout on the floor. I believe called by the Archers. Yes, it was. So 109 left in our opening quarter. Edgerton jumping out to an early six-point lead, 10 to four. And timeout on the floor as Antwerp wants to talk about it. Looks like it's going to be a quick 30-second timeout. Again, glad to have you here with us for a couple of games. It's always fun to come down here to the junior high level. 
and broadcast some of the action. And Lucas Smith, the junior high athletic director, asked if we would be able to cover the seventh grade tournament hosted here at Hicksville, and it's our pleasure to be able to do just that. Hope you're enjoying the coverage as well. Antwerp ball inbounds to Leasty and up and good. Ethan Leasty with his third and fourth point. Make it 10-6. We go under a minute in our opening quarter. Working the ball around. Long shot from number 11 is going to be short. Rebound Clayton Phipps. Phipps tosses it over to Moore. I'm pretty sure that shot was partially blocked by number 31. Okay. That would have been Roth getting his hands on it. Moore almost loses the ball, but manages to maintain possession. 35 seconds. They'll send it down low to the big man. He'll put it up. No good, but he draws the foul, and Kendrick Robinson will go to the line to shoot two. With 30.1 seconds, team foul number two on the Bulldogs. Robinson at the line. Gets the first one. His first point of the night. Brody Cheek into the game for Edgerton. Number 15 will come out and get a breather. Robinson second shot. Is also good. Gets a friendly bounce and goes down. Back the other way with the Bulldogs. Stop, pop, up, no good. Rebound, Leasty. Leasty still being dogged by the Bulldogs. Takes it across half court and gets the ball stolen away from behind. That was Ripke with the steal. Ripke down into the corner. And we'll have a whistle. Shot up by Kenner, waved off. That'll be team foul number three on Antwerp on the floor. So bounce pass into Kenner. Kenner puts it into Kellogg's hands. Kellogg tosses it out to Ripke, whose shot is no good on the other side. A long two from number 11 at the buzzer to make it a 12 to 8 game after the first quarter. Nope, we'll take a, not about a minute here between quarters, so we'll take some time to say a big thank you to our basketball broadcast underwriters, the Jim Schmidt family of automotive dealerships here in Hicksville, Ohio. Both the Jim Schmidt Chevrolet Buick and Jim Schmidt Ford lending us their support, making it possible for us to bring you basketball coverage from the junior high level all the way up through varsity action. We want to thank them so very much, and we want to remind you, and if you're in the market for a vehicle, whether you want one that's brand new, pre-owned, be it a car, truck, van, or SUV, stop by, check out the great selection they have on the lots at the Jim Schmidt family of automotive dealerships here in Hicksville, Ohio. Jim Schmidt Chevrolet Buick, Jim Schmidt Ford, and you can check out the entire dealer inventory online from the comfort of your living room at jimschmidtauto.com. Getting ready to get back into action here. It's a four-point lead for the Edgerton Bulldogs after the first six minutes, and Antwerp will have the ball to get things started in quarter number two. Inbounds to Moore. Moore goes into a double team, nearly loses it. He's going to have to watch out. He's going to get the over and back. Bad pass picked off by Edgerton, taking it to the hoop and traveling is Kenner. He took the extra step and drew the whistle, so the... Archers will get the ball back, and once again, Moore will bring it up. Gets it across half court, and runs into a double team. Moore, as the pressure bothering Antwerp a little bit. Rebound off the hands of Robinson and out of bounds to Edgerton. They'll send it into Kenner. Kenner, long pass down. The floor, they'll flip it back across. Number 11 with the ball now. Back to Kenner. Tosses it in to Cheek. Cheek's turnaround jumper is no good. Saved on the baseline. And he stepped on in the baseline, out of bounds. 
That was Ripke with the rebound, but steps on the baseline and turns it over. At least he comes back into the game for the Archers. He's got the ball right now. At least he drives into the paint, puts up the hook shot, and it's good. Six points now for Ethan Leasty. Down into the corner, Kennert puts it up, bounces on the rim, no good. Ball's loose. Grabbed on the far sideline by number 11. He rolls it along, and we're going to have a reach in on Leasty as he tried to get the ball away from Ripke. And I think that'll be two now on Leasty. Edgerton's ball stolen away on the inbounds pass. And we'll see if he pulled it off. Re Moore came in, stole the inbounds pass, but he was losing his balance. He was going to go out of bounds. He tried to bounce it off one of the Edgerton players before he did, but the referees say no. He stepped on the sideline before he got rid of the basketball. So edged in with the ball back, back on offense, bounce pass, shot up, rolls along the rim, no good. Number 11 with the rebound, puts it up, no good. Comes down to Ripke. Ripke tears it out of there, goes back, just inside the three-point arc, off the glass, and good. Gannon Ripke with four points now as the Bulldogs up 14 to 10. Leasty to Moore. And we're going to have a foul on the floor. That's going to be on number 11. And the Archers will have the ball out of bounds. Number 14 is another mystery player. Checks in for number 11. Shot up. No good. Rebound and a foul. And that's going to send Robinson back to the line with 3.59 to go here in the first half. Four-point lead for the Bulldogs, but Robinson can pull the Archers a little closer here. His first three throw is good. Kendrick will have one more. That one bounces off the back of the iron, no good. So it's a three-point advantage now for the Bulldogs. Ripke with the ball. Down to Kennick, or Kennerk rather. Shot stripped away. Parker Moore with the ball now. Moore's bounce pass to Robinson, almost picked off. Shot in the three-point range, nope. McKeever is the one who pulled the trigger. He missed, the ball goes out of bounds but it's going to stay with Antwerp. Moore looking to handle the inbounds pass. Gets it in to Phipps. Phipps to Robinson, who gets the ball ripped away from him. It winds up in the hands of Kennerk for Edgerton. Kennerk drives baseline, puts up the layup, no good. Rebound. It was Kellogg going for it. He drew a foul, but not in the act of shooting. So it'll be Edgerton's ball. Avon Johnson checking in, and Robinson will sit down and get a breather. For Antwerp, Ripke gets the ball into number 14. He tosses it over to Ripke. And now down to Cheek. Cheek back to number 14. They're moving it around the perimeter. It's going to be out of bounds. Last touch by Edgerton. So Antwerp gets the ball back. Just about halfway through the second quarter. 3.07 and timeout on the floor. That one called by Edgerton. So once again, this is game number one of two here tonight. And this is the first night of a two-night uh, tournament event here in the GMC for the seventh grade basketball squads. And again, uh, waiting in the wings for the nightcap game. It'll be Hicksville 
taking on Wayne Trace. Timeout on the floor right now called by the Edgerton Bulldogs. They're ahead by three as we near halftime. Uh, the Archers have uh, so far committed five team fouls and Edgerton right behind them with four. So very much a possibility that we will see some one and ones being shot here before halftime. We'll wait and see. Teams will break huddle. And we'll get ready to get things started. Archers inbounds the ball. Parker Moore showing some full court pressure from the Bulldogs. They take it down onto the wing. And we're going to have a foul called. As Johnson will get fouled. That'll be on the floor. That'll be on number 14 for the Bulldogs. That'll be team foul number five for Edgerton. Moore, quick inbounds to Leasty. Leasty for three, off the iron, no good. Grabbed by Johnson. Johnson get their hands on the ball. They call the jump ball, and that one should be, yep, Edgerton. Gannon Ripke brings the ball up for the Bulldogs. Ripke over to number 14. And he tries to get it down to Kennerk, and Moore is right there to slap it out of bounds. So Ripke will try to get the ball back in bounds again for the Bulldogs. He does. He gets it to Eston Kennerk. Kennerk over to number 14. Bounce pass inside, then back to Kennerk. Kennerk puts it up, a little too much on it, bounces off the rim, no good. But a nice pass down low to Kellogg, who puts it up and in. Makes it 16 to 11 and moves the Bulldogs lead back out to five. Johnson in some trouble, tries to bounce pass along the sideline and the ball is loose, scooped up by the Bulldogs. Clean block and then a jump ball, which should go to Antwerp. Kendrick Robinson checking back in. And he will spell Clayton Phipps. So Antwerp bucking out a little bit there, not losing possession or getting the points scored on the loose ball. Johnson pulls the trigger from three-point land. No good. Robinson with the board. He tosses it out to McKeever. Over to Leasty. Down low to Robinson, one dribble. Robinson tries to put it up, no good. He's in a triple team. Kicks it out to McKeever, who launches a three, no good. And this time the ball comes down into the hands of Brody Cheek and will come back the other way with the Bulldogs. Feeds it down low to Kellogg, a whistle and a travel. As Kellogg took a step while he was holding the ball above his head. Robinson will inbounds. To Moore and again full court pressure from the Bulldogs Moore races around one man and he runs into another and he'll get whistled for the offensive foul oh I take that back it's going to be not on I thought it was going to be on Edgerton but it's not it was on number 21 so that was Ripke from Edgerton getting the foul. It was not an offensive foul. It was a defensive foul. So Archers with the ball. Again, 110. Leasty from three-point land off the back of the iron. No good. Number 14 grabs the board. He'll send it over to Kennerk. With a minute to go. Kennerk to 14 on the wing. Slapped away, but held on to by Cheek. Brody Cheek driving down low. He'll kick it back out to 14. He'll stop at the free throw line, put it up, in and out, no good. Least he grabs the board for the Antwerp Archers. He'll toss the ball over to Moore with 40 seconds. Moore from three, it's good. Parker Moore, five points for him tonight as he makes it a 16-14 game. And splitting the defense up and good for Kennerk. Kennerk right there puts the lead back to four. Moore carries the ball a little bit. No whistle. Shot up for Moore and no good. I'm sorry, that was McKeever with the carry. Leasty, and he's going to draw a foul. 
Nope, I take that back. Timeout on the floor. The referees don't do the timeout right away. They blow the whistle and throw it off my rhythm. Oh, well. Timeout on the floor from the Antwerp Archers. They're down by four. They cut the lead to two a couple of times. But they haven't been able to close the gap beyond that. But they're still right in this ball game. There's no doubt about it. Elijah Weaver, number 23, looking to check in for the Bulldogs when we come out of this full one-minute timeout. That's the second timeout called by Antwerp tonight, so they should have three remaining. 12.8 seconds to go until halftime, and we'll see. We might uh, get away with the first half without either team getting into the bonus. Six team fouls for the Bulldogs and five for the Archers. Antwerp breaks huddle first. The cheerleading squad vacates the floor. Got all the cheerleaders here to keep the fans all revved up and roused up and provide some entertainment during the breaks in the action. Not on the other side. Shot up and no good. And rebound comes down to Cheek. Cheek with six seconds. Takes it down, kicks it back out, slapped out of bounds. And last touch by Edgerton. So Antwerp will get the ball back 1.4 seconds. They're going to need to pull the trigger. No good. So we've reached halftime of game one of the seventh grade GMC tournament here at Hicksville. And at the half, it's the Edgerton Bulldogs leading the Antwerp Archers 18 to 14. We're going to take a break, but we invite you to stay tuned. Ben and I will be back. We'll have all the exciting play-by-play -play coming your way right here on Hicks TV. Welcome back as we're getting ready to get the second half underway. And we'll start off with a big correction. Uh, when we got here and got ready to go, we were handed rosters. And evidently there was an, an error made. And the roster that we were provided that uh, we were having problems with, uh, we didn't have players' names for numbers that were on the floor, whatever, from Edgerton, is because somehow Edgerton submitted the eighth grade roster instead of their seventh grade roster. So... We uh, went and we made a quick correction, and we jotted down the correct names and numbers. So uh, we'll give you first half scoring. Uh, first off for Antwerp uh, in the first half unofficially. Uh, they were led by number 31, Ethan Leasty, with six points. Parker Moore had five, and Kendrick Robinson had three, all from the free throw line. For the Bulldogs, leading on the scoreboard here at halftime, 18-14. Four points each for number 21, Nathan Swank, number 24, Riley Culler, and number 10, Corey Everett. And three points for Quinton Blue, number 11, and for number 30, Cooper Everett. Ball stolen away. Antwerp, number 10, Parker Moore. Moore. Launches it down to Robinson. He'll toss it back out to McKeever. His shot no good. He goes out of bounds and over to the Edgerton Bulldogs. So we'll fill in names and numbers as we go along. Number 24, as we mentioned, Riley Culler. Number 21 is Nathan Swank. The shot put up by Corey Everett's no good. Follow-up, no good. Rebound comes down to Parker Moore. Moore guarded by Swank and Everett to Leasty. Over onto the wing to Michael Reed. Reed shuffles his feet and turns it over. 5.02 left to go in this third quarter. And again, this is the first of two games here tonight in the opening round of the seventh grade tournament. 
Long pass cross court to Corey Everett. Who's shot up, no good. Put back by Cooper Everett is good. 4-2 and five points now for Cooper. Hasty bounce pass to Reed. Reed drives baseline, puts it up, no good. Rebound grabbed by Culler. Layup is good for Swank. Makes it 22 to 14. And Moore down to McKeever. McKeever for three, off the iron, no good. Close on the floor. And we're going to have a foul called on Nathan Swank. That'll be team foul number one of this first half. Getting ready to check in number 14. That is Caden Piccolo for Edgerton. Bounce pass into Reed. Reed back to Johnson. Or excuse me, to Moore. Moore turns around. Leasty goes down, and we're going to have a official timeout as Leasty went down clutching his knee. They're going to bring him out and substitute Phipps in for him. And Doc Haggerty will have a quick look at his knee. He was wearing a brace and went down. Don't know whether he twisted it or so quickly. The Bulldogs back on the floor. Inbounds to Moore. Moore over to McKeever. McKeever, a long two, and that's good. McKeever's first two of the night. Makes it 22 to 16. That's the first point scored by Antwerp in this second half. Cooper Everett shot up no good. Moore grabs the board. Gets helped out by Robinson. Behind the back dribble. Takes it up to the hoop. Lays it up. No good. Have a whistle and a foul. And that's going to send Parker Moore to the line to shoot two. And that'll be team foul number two on the Bulldogs. Shot up and good for Parker Moore. That's his sixth point of the night. They'll have one more. And he hits that one too. Other way, Everett launches it down the floor, gets the ball right back. That's Corey Everett, by the way. Baseline, bounce pass up to Blue and good. Quinton Blue gets his fifth point of the night with the bucket. Quickly back the other way. Antwerp. And another foul as McKeever's driving towards the bucket. Leasty getting the seal of approval to back, head back into the game. And even Johnson will have a seat for Antwerp. Antwerp with the ball out of bounds. They get it into McKeever. He pulls the trigger right away, and that's good for three. McKeever with five big points here, all in the second half. On the other end, that'll be a foul on Robinson as he lays one on Cooper Everett as he goes to the hoop. Archers pull within three on the three-pointer from McKeever, 24-21. And now Cooper Everett at the line shooting for the Bulldogs. Everett misses the first one. Substitution as... Piccolo will come out. Cooper Everett's second shot. Bounces and goes down. He's got six points now, and it's 25-21. The lead back to four. Moore drives in, puts it up off. Glass and good. A nice-looking shot. He's got nine points tonight. Back the other way with the Bulldogs. Bounce pass. Knocked out of bounds, and it'll stay with Edgerton. Two-point lead for the Bulldogs as the feisty Antwerp Archers will not go away.
Corey Everett looking to get the ball inbounds, launches it in. It's caught by Swank. Swank puts it up, no good. It's off the hands of Cooper Everett out of bounds to the Archers. 2.23 left to go in quarter number three. It's a two-point contest here in this opening round of the seventh grade tournament. Slapped away and saved in the hands of Corey Everett. Everett tries to send it down low to Quinton Blue. It's off his shins and out of bounds. Back to the Antwerp Archers. Parker Moore brings it across half court. Moore launches it inside. Shot up. No good. Rebound comes down to Cooper Everett. And we're going to have a foul. And that's going to be on Leasty. Leasty draws the foul. It's on the floor. It'll be out of bounds to the Bulldogs. It's only team foul number two on Antwerp. Bulldogs have committed three so far. Corey Everett puts it up and good. He's got six, so both Corey and Cooper Everett now with six points for the Bulldogs. Closing in on 90 seconds to go in quarter number three. Shot up, no good. Cooper Everett with the board for Edgerton. Over to Corey Everett. Corey rockets down the floor, pulls it up, and lays it in. 29-23, lead back out to six. Parker Moore to McKeevers, and he bangs home another three, his second of the night. Lance McKeever now with eight points and cuts the deficit to only three. Bulldogs up 29-26. Minute 12 to go here in our third quarter. Game that's shaping up, but who knows? May go right down to the wire. Been an entertaining matchup so far this evening. Again, we apologize for initially not having the correct names for the players for the Edgerton squad in the first half. But that's entirely Ben's fault. My fault? <laughs> You're the one that grabbed the, the sheet. I just, I'm, I'm too nice. I don't want to blame it on Coach Smith. No, it was your fault. No, it's the, somebody in the Edgerton sports department's fault. They, they sent the wrong, they sent the wrong roster. It's an honest mistake anybody could make. Yeah. Good news is we have, have, have it corrected. I'll hang on to the sheet, too, for Thursday. So. You should. So we should have the correct names there. Whether Edgerton or Antwerp is playing in the first or second game on Thursday night, consolation or championship. Well, we're going to decide that in about 7 minutes and 12 seconds from right now on the game clock. Pass over to Quinton Blue. Blue heads in, runs into a wall, kicks it back out to Corey Everett. Everett, pull up jumper, no good. Rebound, they're battling for it under the board. And a travel called on Leasty. So the ball stays in the hands of the Edgerton Bulldogs with 54.1 seconds. And we're going to have... Another foul, and that's going to be on Leasty. I think that's four for him now. Inbounds, shot up, off the back of the iron, no good. Rebound comes back down to the Bulldogs. Everett, bounce pass, loose on the floor, saved on the baseline by Antwerp. Knocked out of bounds by Edgerton. Nope, they're going to say off the foot of one of the Antwerp players as they were all crowded along the baseline trying to get control of the basketball. Ethan Leasty is going to have a seat. We probably won't see him till past halfway point of the fourth quarter. Edgerton with the inbounds. Shot up no good and then a scrum. And the end result is that the Archers are going to get the ball with 40.4 seconds. And 
inbounds pass. And Moore started heading up court before he fully controlled the ball. It rolled right down his leg and out of bounds. So it's another turnover back to Edgerton. Quick inbounds pass. Ball loose, stolen away by the Archers. Moore going for the breakaway. Puts it up off the side of the backboard. No good. 27 seconds. We come back the other way with Edgerton. Corey Everett goes to the hoop and draws the foul, and he'll go to the line to shoot two. That foul is going to be on Moore. That's team foul number four on the Archers. And it's going to put Corey Everett at the line. Everett will be shooting two. Everett misses the first one. Into the game now, Warren Nichols, number 22, and also, I think, Taylor Deach, number 15 for Edgerton. Second shot is no good by Everett. Ball grabbed by Phipps. Phipps gets it over to Moore. Moore across half court. Pass deflected and winds up in the hands of Corey Everett. Everett's. Turnaround jumper, he'll put up a prayer, it goes in for him. So he makes up for missing the free throws by hitting the bucket. Shot will be, and it's gonna go for three. Parker Moore hits the three ball at the buzzer. And it's a two point game at the end of the third quarter as the Antwerp Archers just will not go away. They won't give up. They are a dog in the, the Bulldogs. And We'll get ready for our fourth and final quarter here tonight. Bulldogs up 31-29. Time for another thank you to the Jim Schmidt family of automotive dealerships here in Hicksville, Ohio, underwriting our basketball broadcast coverage. Remember, whenever you see basketball action here on Hicksville Community Television, they're the ones that have helped make it possible. The Jim Schmidt family of automotive dealerships, Jim Schmidt Chevrolet Buick, and Jim Schmidt Ford right here in Hicksville, Ohio. We want to thank them so very much for their continued support. And this is a good warm-up. Like I said, we've got the seventh grade tournament being hosted by Hicksville here. And thanks to Jim Schmidt, uh, not only recovering this, but coming up very shortly, we're going to be on the road with both the boys and girls varsity basketball teams covering their sectional tournament openers. And we'll follow them as long as, well, as, long as it takes down the tournament trail. And again, it's all made possible thanks to the Jim Schmidt family of automotive dealerships in Hicksville, Ohio. Jim Schmidt Chevrolet Buick, Jim Schmidt Ford, and online at jimschmidtauto.com. Edgerton with the ball to start the fourth quarter. Here we go. It's a two-point game. Edgerton on top. Corey Everett's with the ball on the wing. Everett's over to Blue. Blue shot. No good. Rebound to Cooper Everett's. He gets the ball stripped, goes out of bounds to the Antwerp Archers. So here come the Archers with a chance to tie this game up in the fourth quarter. They haven't led since very early in the first quarter. Turnaround jumper is good. Parker Moore hits the long two and we're tied at 31. Nathan Swank gets it over to Blue. Blue working around the perimeter for Edgerton. Over to Corey Everett. Long pass cross court winds up in Blue's hands. He gets it back over to Swank. Swank feeds it inside to Collar. Collar's shot, no good. Rebound comes down to Parker Moore for Antwerp. Moore, spin move. Gets him some space. Moore, top of the key. Looking things over. Bounce pass over to Leasty. Leasty back to Moore. Moore for a three-point land. That one's no good. And that'll be out of bounds to the Edgerton Bulldogs with 447 left in regulation. Ball inbounds to Nathan Swank. Swank guarded by McKeever. Moves out around the perimeter. Over to Blue. Blue right back to Swank. Back to Blue on the wing, down into the corner, down low, and then it'll be Blue pulling the trigger for two. 
He hits it, and the Bulldogs back up 33-31. Robinson down to McKeever. McKeever's long three, no good. Rebound underneath the bucket. Stolen away from Reed. Here comes Blue. He tosses it over. Tried to get it to Corey Everett. Everett couldn't get it under control. It goes out of bounds off his hands and back to the Antwerp Archers with 4.08 left to go in regulation. Leastie. Moving it up. Tosses it down to McKeever. McKeever puts up the shot. No good. Goes behind the backboard out of bounds to Edgerton. Inbounds now to Swank, Swank to Blue. Blue gets it down to Corey Everett on the wing. Everett's back to Blue, top of the key. Three-point shot is going to be short and out of bounds. Swank didn't have enough on the ball. It'll go back to the Archers. They're down by two. Inbounds to Parker Moore. Moore takes it across half court, loses the dribble. It's scooped up by Blue, comes back the other way. Blue gets it over to Collar. They move it around to Swank. Swank in the corner, back to Collar. He puts up the jumper, no good. And we've got, again, a scrum, and it comes out in the hands of Cooper Everett, who lays it in to make it a four-point game, 35-31. McKeever going to pull another three ball, no good. Robinson going for the board. He's on the floor, jump ball, and that should go to Antwerp, perhaps. So Robinson is on the floor and is slow getting up. They'll pull everybody off the floor. Doc Haggerty will come take a look at him. I'm not sure... What happened with Robinson? It looks like he's got a problem with his leg. 2.55 to go here in regulation. And again, a brief uh, suspension of play while they tend to the injured player. The Edgerton Bulldogs leading by four, 35-31. Here on this opening night of the seventh grade tournament. Bill Murphy and Ben Vandenbaltz of Hicksville Community Television calling the action for you tonight. They're going to get him up. Walk him off. Not sure if he cramped up or pulled something. He's he's moving okay, so it doesn't look like whatever it is. It, it doesn't look too serious. Robinson will have a seat. He's moving around a little gingerly, and they'll mop some sweat off of the hardwood. And it'll be Edgerton's ball after the jump ball call. And now the Antwerp coach was pointing out, and I think correctly, that uh, no, 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 the possession arrow should be to Antwerp because Edgerton had possession of the ball to start the quarter. Reed gets the ball, bounce pass then over to Moore. Moore takes it out, top of the key. Bounce pass to Leasty. Leasty driving in, gets the ball slapped away. Moore grabs it. Moore going to go take it in now. And Moore is going to draw the foul from Cooper Everett's. So Everett's with the personal. That's team foul number four for Edgerton and Parker Moore at the free throw line. His team down by four. 2.41 left in the game in regulation. First one from Moore is no good. He'll get one more. Misses them both, and the rebound controlled by Riley Collar. He'll toss the ball over to Nathan Swank. Swank to Corey Everett. Everett 
on the wing. Gets it inside to Blue. Blue back to Everett's. Everett's working his way through, trying to feed it in to Cooper Everett's. The ball's loose and another jump ball. That should stay with the Bulldogs. 2.17 to go. Robinson getting ready to check back in. He'll spell Michael Reed. Inbounds to Corey Everett. Everett's over to Quinton Blue. Blue back to Everett. Down into Collar. Back out to Blue. It's, it'll take a little air out of the ball here. Blue gets it back to Everett. We go under two minutes, ball slapped away, and we're going to have a foul, and I think that's going to be on Antwerp, and that's going to be Lance McKeever picking up a personal foul and team foul number five for the Archers. Shot up and no good. And Antwerp not able to get their hands on the ball. Edgerton moving it around the perimeter once again. 90 seconds left in the game, and that'll be another foul on McKeever. That'll be number six, so the next foul will put Edgerton at the line to shoot one plus one. We'll see whether the Archers put him into the bonus for a chance to get the ball back and close in on this four-point lead. It sure looks like they're trying. And that'll be on Parker Moore, I think. And it'll be one and one. Team foul number seven. And that's going to put Nathan Swank at the line to shoot one and one. His team up by four. Swank's first one, in and out, no good. Rebound comes down to Antwerp. And it'll go out of bounds. And back to the Edgerton Bulldogs. As Moore couldn't control it on the sideline, he fell down. And wasn't able to slap the ball out of bounds. Well, he did. He slapped the ball back inbounds, but unfortunately his rear end was on the line at the time. So Blue with the ball. And he's going to be, oh, no whistle there. Gets it over to Corey Everett. And Everett's going to be fouled. And that'll be another one on McKeever. I think McKeever has three on him now. Yep. So back on the line to shoot one on one and one. Corey Everett misses the front end. At least he grabs the rebound. So they're not out of it yet. Ball is partially deflected and scooped up and then lost. Swank goes to the hoop, puts it off glass. No good. And we're going to have another foul. And that might be all for Mr. Leasty tonight. I think that might be his fifth. It's going to uh, put Riley Collar at the line. He'll shoot one and one. That's team foul number nine. So after this, they'll shoot two no matter what. 55 seconds left in regulation. First one, no good. Ball comes out to Swank. Swank over to Blue. And Blue's going to be fouled by Moore. Well, it must not have been team foul number... It must not have been the fifth personal foul on Leesty. He's still out there playing, so it must have been number four. I, I thought he had... Well, I thought he had five, but obviously I'm wrong. Still a four-point game. They've sent the Bulldogs to the free throw line, and so far it's paid off. They haven't been able to hit their free throws. Blue gets this one to drop. 
36-31, makes it a five-point game. If he hits this one, it'll have to be two threes for the Archers to tie it. And he does. Nine points for Quinton Blue. And timeout on the floor with 46.8 seconds. Antwerp down by six. Still a two-possession game, and Antwerp can shoot the three. I mean, Lance McKeever's hit a couple, and so has Parker Moore. So they can hit it from the outside. 46.8 seconds. That's enough time to do it, so we'll see. That's enough time for a lot of things to happen. Yes, indeed. Next two teams playing tonight is going to be Wayne Trace and Hicksville. Hicksville will be the home team in that contest. And the Raiders will be wearing their visiting reds. I like the Raiders. Um, and we're not Raiders. talking about the football team. No. From, from, Sam, from Oakland. No, I like their jerseys. Oh, okay. All red? Well, with blue let blue letters and numbers and a white trim. Well, that makes it so you can see them. Yep. Duh. Robinson handled the inbounds for the Archers. He gets it into McKeever. McKeever stolen away on the pass trying to get to Lisi. And we're going to have another whistle. And that one's going to be on Robinson. And this will be two shots now and the double bonus for the Edgerton Bulldogs. Riley Collar will get two shots. 40.3 seconds left in the contest. Collar is going to be short. He'll get one more. Second shot for Collar. That one's no good. At least he grabs the board. Ethan passes it to Robinson. Robinson moving down the floor, and it's stolen away from him by Swank. Swank holding the ball, and they're gonna. He's gonna get mugged by Robinson. With 24.5 seconds. And that'll send Swank to the line to shoot two. If he hits one of them, it'll be a three possession game. Might as well the game be over. He gets that one. Seven points now for Swank. Into the game number 20, that's Preston Bartlett. For Edgerton. Swank will get one more. Misses that one. Leasty grabs the rebound. Gets it over to McKeever. McKeever with 19 seconds crosses half court. McKeever drives up, puts up a prayer. No good. Rebound comes down. Shot up and no good from Phipps. Ball loose on the floor. Blue grabs it and wraps it up like it's the most valuable thing in the world. Jump ball called, it goes to the Archers. Seven seconds exactly. Inbounds to Leasty, is shot for a long two is good. Leasty hits the long two to make it 37-34. Three point lead now. Three point one seconds, the Archers Going to need to get the ball back, so their only real hope will be to foul somebody almost instantaneously. Hope they miss their free throws, get the ball back, and shoot a three. All within 3.1 seconds. Yeah, that's a lot of things to do in 3.1 seconds. Yep. So we'll see what happens. Teams will break huddle. Bulldogs will have the ball. Quinton Blue is going to try to get the ball inbounds. 
And he's going to run along the baseline, bounce it in to, and we're going to have a foul with 1.8 second. And that's going to send Carey, or make that Corey Everett's to the line. He'll shoot two. So right now, it's a, yeah, okay, it's a four-point game, 38-34. I thought that, yeah, there was a missing point there somewhere. So right now, a four-point game. So the only hope the Archers have is if he misses and they get fouled and they hit a three-pointer. No good. He'll have one more. Hit free throw here, and that's good. So Everett gets the free throw. They'll hurl it the length of the court to no avail. And the Edgerton Bulldogs will win the first game here on opening night of the seventh grade tournament, 39-34, to the final score. And let me do some quick addition. And we'll get you the unofficial scoring numbers. And here we go. Again, these are unofficial, but for the archers on the short end of the scoreboard. They were led tonight by Parker Moore. Parker had a pretty good night for himself. He's the only archer in double figures. He had a couple of threes, three twos, and some free throws to finish up with 14 tonight. Eight points each for Lance McKeever on a bucket and two three-pointers. And uh, Ethan Lichty had four field goals for eight points. And then three from Kendrick Robinson, all of those free throws. For the victorious Edgerton Bulldogs, their leading scorer tonight, Corey Everett. Corey had uh, a total of 11 points uh, on the night. Nine points tonight for Quinton Blue. There was eight from Cooper Everett, seven from Nathan Swank, and then four points from Riley Collar. So there you have it. Final score again, 39-34. That wraps up the first game of this seventh grade tournament. Up next will be the Aces and the Raiders. And I invite you to keep your eye on the program guide because Ben and I are going to stick around and have coverage of that contest for you from the red zone here tonight as well. So with that, we're going to wrap up game one coverage here. Again, final score. It was Antwerp losing to Edgerton. Bulldogs on top 39-34. to Big thank you to the Jim Schmidt family of automotive dealerships underwriting the broadcast. And for Ben Vandenboss running the camera tonight, I'm Bill Murphy with Hicksville Community Television wishing you good night and good sports.